and thank you for taking the time to watch one of our quick help videos. In this video, we will demonstrate how to make a backup of your database using the CA4K database utility. Making backups of all your databases are essential. Once the backups are created, a copy of the backup should be moved off the computer and kept in a safe location. There are multiple utilities available to perform CA4K database backups. In this video, we will perform a database backup and restore using the CA4K database utility. These same functions can also be performed using the SQL Server Management Studio utility. The steps for installing and using the SQL Server Management Studio for backups are covered in another video. Prior to launching the CA4K database utilities, you must verify the CA4K GUI is shut down. Launch the CA4K database utility. If there is a short shortcut to the CA4K database utility, click the shortcut to launch the CA4K database utility. The shortcut name should be DB Utility 4K. If there is not a shortcut available, use File Explorer and click the CADBUtils.exe in the Tools folder to launch the CA4K database utilities. Upon launching the CA4K database utility, you might be prompted for a password. If you are prompted for a password, type in PR1532. Upon launching the CA4K database utilities, all the CA4K services will be stopped. Upon the DB utility opening, click the Miscellaneous tab. Under the Miscellaneous tab, click the Backup slash Restore Database tab. On the Backup slash Restore Database screen, the top half of the screen is for backing up a database, and the bottom half of the screen is for restoring a database. Next, select the SQL Server. The authentication mode should be set to SQL Authentication by default. The username should default to CIC. Type in uppercase C, lowercase i, lowercase c, exclamation mark, and the numbers 234-56789 for the password. Next, select the database you wish to backup. Next, select the location you wish to save the backup to and give it a descriptive name. By default, the CA4K DB utility provides a name. Click OK. Next, click the Backup Database button. After the database is backed up, a message box will display that the database has been backed up successfully. Click OK. Using File Explorer, view the destination folder and verify the BAK file was created. Next, on the bottom half of the screen, we will restore the backup file to the same database. First, select the SQL Server. The authentication mode should be set to SQL Authentication by default. The username should default to CIC. Type in uppercase C, lowercase i, lowercase c, exclamation mark, and the numbers 2345678 for the password. Next, Select Existing Database. You have the option to restore to a new database or an existing database. Next, select the database you wish to restore into. Next, select the Restore file. This is the .bak file you wish to restore into the database. Warning, if you are restoring into an existing database, all the data in the database will be overwritten. Next, click the Restore Database button. After the backup file is restored to the selected database, a message box will display that the database restore has completed successfully. Click OK. This concludes this quick help video for backing up and restoring a CA4K database. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video.